Hi, I'm Rich Koopman, president of Thermodynamics, manufacturer of the original flameless portable heater. We have been producing flameless heaters since 1999 in T, South Dakota. The heater was originally developed to meet the safety regulations that were being enforced in the oil industry on the drilling rigs. Once this product was introduced, it was the only heater that required zero setback, whereas all of the indirect fired heaters had to be set back a minimum of 150 feet from the rig. Our heaters have become the heater of choice in the oil field due to its safety, reliability, simple design, and durability. We have documented records that these heaters can achieve over 30,000 hours of successful operation. Our heaters harness heat from four separate areas. First, by taking the exhaust from the engine at approximately 900 degrees and running it through our exhaust heat exchangers, we are able to recover all but a small amount of the heat that would otherwise be wasted. Second, the radiant heat from the hot water in the engine radiator is captured along with the exhaust heat as the cold air is taken in through the front of the unit. Third, as the air is pulled into the chassis body by the engine radiator fan, it moves across the engine and draws the heat from the block and manifold. And finally, the heat plate is the core of the heater. This patented assembly consists of a disc that is enclosed inside the heavy steel case. The oil enters the unit from the center directly onto the bearings and is moved by centrifugal force to the outer edge of the disc where it is agitated very aggressively to generate heat and load the engine. It is then released into the oil galley where it is forced through the discharge hose to the oil cooler in the rear of the unit. After the heat has been extracted from the oil, it is then circulated through the hydraulic filter and back into the oil reservoir. The pusher fan on the back of the plate is what achieves the high CFM and static pressure. Through the years, we continually perfect the original designs and introduce new models. We have heaters that range from 100,000 BTUs to 1.2 million BTUs. In 2011, a major airline came to us and purchased five of our heaters to develop a proof of concept for heating airplanes. The results were very successful. The next step was to incorporate all of their requests and design a heater that would meet all of their requirements. From that project, we have developed the TD500-GSE heater. As you can see, the appearance is a radical change from our standard product, but the operation remains fundamentally the same. First, let's take a look at the outside appearance. As you can see, it's completely different from the heaters we've built in the past. The first thing you'll notice that we are putting it on four pneumatic tires with a torsion axle for a very smooth ride. On the front of the heater, we have a retractable tongue that uh, hooks up to your tug, and it also retracts and locks in the upward position to get it out of the way, and at the same time, it'll lock the wheels in place so the heater is not allowed to move. On this side of the heater, we have several features that I like to point out. The first is an emergency stop button. In case of an emergency, you just pop the button to shut down the heater. We have two strobe lights to indicate first that the heater is in operation. The second is the green to indicate that it's low on fuel and it should need to be refueled shortly. The other option is the exhaust we have mounted to the very front of the heater. What that'll do is eliminate from the air intake in the back of getting any carbon monoxide in the cabin. At the back of the unit, we've designed the control panel to be totally accessible from the outside. We also have it lit up so that at night uh, everything will be visible. Uh, the gauges include your duct pressure, your voltage, fuel gauge, tachometer. We have both the engine water and oil pressure. And then we have the heat plate, which will be your pressure and your temperature. On the back of our heater, we have our built-in design duct storage. You have your 12-inch duct with the 8-inch airplane adapter coupling. Let's take a look at the inside, see how this thing operates. The first thing you see is we've got a six-cylinder, one-horsepower industrial gas engine that is EPA certified. One of our requests was that we cannot have any contaminated air in the cabin, so what we do is not pull any air through the heat chamber. The next thing we have then is the same principle as the other heaters, is their patented heat plate. 
And the thing we have different about that is to achieve the CFM and the static pressure required is we do not have the fan on the back of the plate. What we do is have it mounted off to the side on a jack shaft that is driven by a pulley and a lifetime guarantee belt system. So at the back of the unit, we have our air intake, which is filtered to eliminate any contaminants. The air is pulled into our pressure chamber with our axial fan. The air is forced up through our engine radiator and our oil cooler and then the air is delivered out through a 12 inch duct. With this setup, you can achieve 550,000 BTUs, 5,000 CFM, and up to 15 pounds of static pressure. For more information, please give us a call at 605-498-1050. I'd love to tell you more about our TD500 GSE heater, which we believe is the best value in the industry. And remember, when people tell us we are full of hot air, we take that as a compliment.